One of the greatest mysteries of the Matrix universe is the Golden Code, or Light. Over the years, this light has been interpreted in multiple ways by the fans, from being a representation of the machine consciousness to evidence that the real world is another layer of the simulation. So today we are going to take a closer look at this mysterious golden light. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The first thing to note about this topic is that there is no concrete definition of what exactly is this golden light. One possible explanation is that it is the visual manifestation of the source. In Matrix Reloaded, Seraph is made of golden code. The Oracle is made of golden code, according to the movie script. In the video game Path of Neo, Neo is made of golden code. With the exception of the programs created inside the Matrix, which are composed of green code, everything that is connected to the source is composed of this golden code. The machines in the real world and some programs inside the simulation. However, this is an oversimplification. We could easily believe this to be the correct answer, but there are flaws within this explanation. How was Neo able to see without his eyes? How did Neo see a sentinel of light go through him when he was approaching Machine City? We are now heading in a completely different direction, a metaphysical one. We must try to explain what exactly Neo saw. The first time the Golden Code was ever seen was when Neo met Seraph. The movie script describes the moment as follows. In the cold world, Neo sees his true form, sitting Buddha-like in the surrounding swirl of code, a being of pure liquid light contained by a web of matrix code that is written in the negative, or rather with the absent of light, sitting Buddha. Remember that as it will be important later on. The second time the script mentions this code is when Neo meets the Oracle in the park. In the distance, several children are playing on a swing set. Neo stares at her for a moment, seeing her code form which is the same as Seraph's. Once again, she starts talking to him before she sees him. Now then, the first clue about the Golden Code is when Neo realizes what the Oracle is. You're not human, are you? Well, it's tough to get any more obvious than that. If I had to guess, I'd say you're a program from the machine world. So is he. Neo doesn't say these words to any other program. For him, this unique code links the Oracle and Seraph to the machine world. This could mean that the golden light transcends the Matrix. So far, the theory that this light is the source of machine life seems to be correct. But everything changed in Matrix Revolutions. According to Lana Wachowski, the Golden Code is the key to Matrix Revolutions, but no one has been able to fully decipher what it is. Yeah, so the third one has a gigantic symbol in it that no one ever really discusses. Okay, what's the gold light? If you basically work on what the trilogy is all about, you come to this symbol that is never discussed, no one ever talks about it, no one even mentions it, no one refers to it, and yet it's there, clearly. Matrix Revolutions begins with an explosion of golden light, then the emergence of the green code, and then the Matrix. The entire simulation then transforms into an unknown symbol, and as the image pulls away, the rainfall of codes and symbols appear. Now we are in the real world. Interesting transitions. In just a few seconds, we were introduced to four levels of reality. The first level is the unexplained, mysterious golden light. The second level is the Matrix simulation, the big city where the imprisoned humans live. The third level is the unknown symbol that could represent the constructs connected to the Matrix, such as Mobile Ave and the Architect's Room. And the fourth level is the real world and Zion. With this list, we are beginning to understand what the golden light could be. Maybe the answer lies in Neo's blindness. After Neo's fight against Smith that cost him both his eyes, he began to see reality differently. This was no accident. What the Wachowskis tried to do here was to make a parallel of Neo with other blind messiahs. In fact, in Enter the Matrix, Trinity mentions to Ghost that there have been many blind messiahs throughout history. Like Augustine, I'm dedicated to a higher purpose. 
What's that? Onanism. Is that why so many saints are blind? This is more symbolic than literal. When a messiah or prophet goes blind, they open their third eye. The third eye is a mystical and esoteric concept. It refers to the invisible or etheric eye and energetic vortex that provides perception beyond what could be perceived with ordinary sight. It is a spiritual eye that allows us to see beyond reality. It is here that we start to move away from the literal to the metaphysical meaning of the golden light. For a long time, we tried to connect the golden light with something literal, like the source, trying to discard the explanation of many philosophers who have seen the films, that the machines are beings of light and that what we saw in the movies was something spiritual, but we can't reach a more objective conclusion of what the golden light is. The famous Sherlock Holmes once said, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Neo can't see the golden light without his eyes unless something else was activated within him. The references to Buddhism are more literal than symbolic in the movie script. Seraph is compared to the image of the sitting Buddha. Remember when I told you to keep the Buddha in mind? This is a metaphysical interpretation of Buddhist philosophy. The golden light is not only the spiritual world, but it is the basis of all existence. It's not only the machines, nor is it a single consciousness. The golden light is the foundation of reality. According to esoteric Buddhism, the clear light, or being enlightened, is a state of the mind in which our consciousness transcends. However, we do not believe that this is all that the golden code is, but it's also something more. What do I mean? Let's talk about Buddhist atomism. According to many Buddhist and Hindu beliefs, reality is composed of light, small atoms known as dharmas. The Buddhists deny the existence of substantial matter altogether. Movement consists, for them, of moments. It is a staccato movement, momentary flashes of stream of energy. Everything is evanescent. Curiously, when Neo is assimilated by Smith, the script mentions liquid light pouring into him, which is a reference to the energy stream in Buddhism. Neo's body hangs motionless, supported by the passageway as we see as Neo would, an empty husk that is being filled, liquid light pouring into him from every connection. The old Smith realizes that he is laughing alone. There is something wrong with this new Smith. The new Smith begins to tremble, a shiver that grows into a convulsion. Oh no, 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 it's not fair, it's not fair. Neo's body arches, his arms pin wide as he tries to scream, but instead of sound, a shaft of light beams out. This explanation of reality means several things. Looking again at the intro of Matrix Revolutions, the explosion of golden light is quite similar to the Big Bang. According to Buddhism, what we see with our own eyes is nothing more than an illusion of the ego. After going through all this information, what does the golden light mean? In our opinion, it is the foundation of reality. It's reality in its purest form. Maybe if Neo saw the city of Zion after losing his sight, he might have also seen it in golden light. We could say that the golden light is the source of life, but it's more than that. It is the source of everything that exists. This leads us to believe that Matrix Revolutions was showing us two different matrices. The first matrix that was created by the machines and the second matrix that was created by the perception of reality of the humans and machines from the supposed real world. If the golden light is a reference to Buddhist animism, then what the Wachowskis wanted to tell us was that at the end of the movie, the war didn't matter, the simulation didn't matter, Zion didn't matter, nothing matters, because in the end, the only truth about reality is that there is no single reality, only interpretations of it. The Matrix is just as important as the real world. Everything is a simulation. It's not enough to wake up from the regime that has imprisoned us. We must wake up from what we have been programmed to believe is real. So you can, you can say like, okay, choice is important. Choice is, is a part of everyone's lives, choices. Uh, but that paradigm of projecting choice is not different. It's a matrix just like 
Catholicism or Christianity or symbols of metaphysics or really even philosophical constructs. This is why no one really mentions this, but the whole, everyone says, oh, simulacrus in a Baudrillard, you're referencing Baudrillard. But the point of the reference is that the book is hollow. <laughs> it is itself a matrix. It is itself a construction, a projection, a tool for understanding the world or having a, pers a, um, a framework of meaning. That's what these things are. They're frameworks of meaning. So what we were trying to do is, can you encourage audiences to interrogate their own framework for meaning? And then through that interrogation, extend it into the experience of watching a piece of art and then try to find meaning in that piece of art. If our explanation of what is the Golden Code isn't simple or clear enough, well, it's because that was the intention of the creators. In our opinion, at least. The Wachowskis created this grand mystery based on some religious philosophies to create a level of mysticism in the film. It is interesting how the directors managed to incorporate and explore religious and philosophical themes in Matrix Revolutions without directly mentioning religion. It is a secular version of the stories about religion. And that is why the golden light is so complicated. It is the greatest mystery of religion and beyond. Piston fan could never solve the third one. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But do you agree? What do you think is the golden light? Is this something metaphysical? Is it based on Buddhist animism, the true reality? Or is it something much simpler? like the collective consciousness of the machines. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.